Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to use the Accounts Manager module on Socinator using your Pinterest account. So after opening the Socinator app, this is the first tab on the left side. Let's start by clicking the Add Account button. Let's select Pinterest as our social network. For group name, it's not really required. If you want to group accounts together on Socinator, then enter a random group name here. For email, enter the email address for your Pinterest account. Then type your Pinterest password. Click the I button over here to reveal the password. Check this box to enter the proxy address, port, username, and password. When you're ready, click Save. So it successfully added our Pinterest account. So you can see the social network icon or logo, the username or in this case the email address, the status is success, which is what we want to see. The group name is ungrouped because we did not specify a group name. The proxy address is the local IP address and the friendship count. Let's right click on our Pinterest account. There are several options here. Let's start with details. So you can see the social network is Pinterest. The group name is ungrouped. Type a random group name here if you want to group accounts together on Socinator. This is your account name on Pinterest. Then your email address, your password, the website, the status is success. If you want to auto-verify by email, then check this box. Last synchronized ad is not updated yet, so we will update that later. Then finally, click Advanced Settings to configure the following. When you're ready, click the Save button. Now let's click Cancel. The second one is Delete Profile. Let's skip this for now and go back to it later. The third one is Browser Login. So this will open the Socinator browser where you can log in your Pinterest account and browse using Socinator. So the Check IP button over here will allow you to check your IP address and the Login button over here will allow you to log in to your Pinterest account. So there's no need to use the Pinterest app or an internet browser. Simply open the Socinator app, then you can browse using your Pinterest account. The next one is Go to Tools. This will bring us to the Accounts Activity tab, where you can configure the following Pinterest automation tools. We have separate tutorials for each, so be sure to check them out. Next, we have Check Account Status. This will check the account status in real time. And it's a success. The next one is Update Friendship. It will update the friendship count in real time. Finally, we have Copy Account ID. If you need to copy and paste your account ID somewhere, then click it, and the account ID was successfully copied. Now let's go back to the second one, Delete Profile. This will not delete the account itself. It will only remove it from Socinator. Click Delete anyways when you're sure, and it's gone. Now let me show you another option in adding accounts on Socinator. This one allows us to import several accounts at the same time by simply clicking the Import Multiple Accounts button over here. But before clicking, if you hover on the button, you can see the format. So first, enter a random group name where you want to group your accounts together on Socinator. Call in the social network, Pinterest. Call in your email address for Pinterest, call in your password. Then let's save it as a text file and call it import multiple.txt. Click Save. So as you can see, only one account per line. We can also import only one account. So let's remove the second one for example and let's save it as another file. This time, Let's call it import single.txt. Click Save. We can also enter the account details on a spreadsheet. There's no need to separate each account detail with a colon because they are already divided into four columns. Let's save it as a CSV file and let's name it import multiple.csv. Click Save. 
Now let's click the import multiple accounts button. Select the right file, import multiple for example. Click open. It added two accounts at the same time. You can also see that they are grouped together under the group name multiple. Now let's go to select. If we click all accounts, then it will select all accounts. If we click deselect all, then it deselected everything. If we click working accounts, then it selected everyone because all of them are working. So let's deselect again. If we click not working accounts, it did not select anything because all of them are working. If we click not checked accounts, it also did not select anything because all of them have been checked. Finally, we have select account by groups. So this allows us to select account according to the group name. If we check the first one, then it only selected the ungrouped ones. Then if we check the second one, it selected those that are grouped under the multiple group name. Next, we have update. If we click update all details, it will alert us to select an account first. So let's select um, those that are grouped under multiple, for example. Then let's click update all details. So it is now updating all details for both accounts. Next, we have check account status. So it will check the status of both accounts. Next, we have stop process. If there are processes running using these accounts, then they will be stopped. Same goes with stop all activity. If there are activities ran by these accounts, then they will be stopped. Finally, we can update auto verify credential if you want. Next, we have export. Click this button, then select where you want to export the accounts. Let's say desktop for example, then click select folder. Both accounts were successfully exported. Finally, we have the delete button over here. So if you want to delete several accounts together at the same time, then simply select them. Then when you're ready, click delete anyways, and both of them are gone. As stated earlier, we can use the import multiple accounts to add one account only. So let's select import single, click open. So it successfully imported one account only. The last one is info. This will tell us more about the accounts manager module. So the module can add or delete single account and it can also import or export multiple accounts. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.